Staying with matters on the electoral front, Elon Musk is testing U.S. election law with his plan to increase voter registration, well, as far as it goes. Musk announced this weekend, speaking in support of Donald Trump, a new and original plan. Every day from now until the election, uh, we're giving out a million dollar prize uh, that is, and all you have to do is sign a petition in support of the Constitution. It's, it's very straightforward. Uh, you don't even have to vote. Now, sounds straightforward, doesn't it? The problem is the petition is in support of free speech and the right to bear arms. But it's only available, the giveaway, in people in seven swing states. And you have to be registered to vote to take part and sign the petition. Now, let's just go through that clearly. Here you have a petition, but you have to be able to sign the petition. You to sign the petition, you have to be registered to vote. Therefore, if you want to take part in the petition and sign it, and you're not registered, you have to, you have to register to vote. And that's raised questions of whether this is against the law. Because you have to have taken, you have to have registered. And the election law experts say, because you have to have registered, it may be illegal. Here's the law. It is Title 52. Uh, it is subsection 10307. I've got a copy of it here, just in case you want to follow along. Federal law says it's a crime to pay someone or offer to pay or accept payment for registration to vote or for voting. It's a $10,000 fine, five years in prison, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Tim Waltz has sp responded, speaking on ABC's The View. He said, the fact that you have to be registered and it's paying people to register, well, that makes it almost illegal. Brendan Fisher is a campaign finance lawyer and deputy executive director of Documented. I tried to do my best there. I, t I might have been a poor best to get to the point, but the point is, <laughs> It's the sine qua non of being registered to take part in the peti petition that you say is illegal. That's right. Uh, so the, the law clearly, clearly prohibits paying somebody to vote or to register to vote. And the reason that Elon Musk's plan is unlawful is because for an order, in order for a swing state voter to be eligible for the $100 payment or eligible for the $1 million payout, they have to be registered to vote. Your eligibility is conditional on registration, and that's what renders the plan illegal. Um, it would be a different story if any swing state, if any swing state resident um, could sign the petition and then become eligible for the payout, but it's the, the but, conditioning uh, of the eligibility that renders it unlawful. Right, in your view, but there is another view that says, no, the condition, you may have to meet the condition, but you're not getting the million for meeting the condition or 100 for meeting the condition, you're getting it for signing the petition. And the precursor to that, well, that's really up to you. <laughs> I, I have heard those arguments. Um, I am not convinced. Um, you know, I think you know, many of the, the, the folks making those arguments are uh, supporters of former President Trump. And I'd be curious about what their analysis would be if a liberal billionaire were approaching um, Democratic supporters on college campuses, offering them $100 uh, for proof of their registration. I, I'm curious about how they would analyze that situation, which seems very, which seems very analogous. Um, so, I think you can have a, a policy, a policy debate over whether this particular prohibition, as applied to registration, is a good idea. Um, but you know, looking at the the black letter of the law. Uh, that you that you showed earlier you would have, would clearly uh, appear to render this unlawful. So who has locus to actually litigate it? I mean, it, fine. Let's assume you're right and it is uh, illegal. Under Title 52, who is the designated in a sense? Is it the DOJ? Is it states' attorneys general? Does is there a possibility of uh, individual uh, litigants that can take this? Um, primary enforcement would come from the Department of Justice, so they could pursue criminal or or civil penalties. Um, but we are, you know, we we are sailing in uncharted waters here. I'm 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 aware of no other analogous precedent, and there are obvious political considerations with 
uh, with whether DOJ might want to pursue a prosecution mm -hmm. or an investigation at this stage in the election. Um, but if this is allowed to pass, um, if Musk is allowed to make these payments, then we've just opened up a new avenue for money in our political system. You know, billionaires and corporations are already pouring hundreds of millions of dollars into U.S. politics to influence right. our vote. This will open up a new avenue where they are directly giving money to voters to register or, or even to vote. The that's really the, the difficult part you've got here, because the, 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 the nice, in a sense, nice legal argument of whether it's illegal or not can properly be left to judges and, uh, and uh, appeal courts. But finding somebody who will litigate it and therefore get the issue going, because, as you say, if you don't get it going, then let's assume, let's assume you're right and it's illegal. He's won the argument if nobody sues him. Yeah, well, and this is certainly how our campaign finance system in the U.S. has effectively fallen apart. Because uh, once one side gets away with the tactic, then the other side uses it as well. And before long, you have a system overrun by billionaires and corporations and dark money um, and a variety of tactics that would appear to violate the letter of the law. And that is your problem with two weeks to go. But, I, I, but the issue, but as you say, sir, the issue is going to rumble on, assuming. I'm grateful for your time. Thank you. It's one little play out in the courts. Right, and lawyers you. will get rich. Thank you, sir.